Hey what is going on guys, it's me Parksy here and welcome back to a little bit of a difference on the channel I guess you could say. We're back playing Town of Salem for what seemed like a year but today we're going to be doing some ranked practice. Of course I've done my 50 classic games, 10 ranked games so I can do of course ranked. But I don't want to be waiting for 3 minutes so there's a lot of things I want to talk to these guys about, about the change of the channel and just general gossip because you know, I'm assuming you guys watch my videos just to see what gossip is happening because that's basically what my uploads have been for the past few weeks. I guess, well, I, I guess I could say a few weeks. Um, what is our nickname going to be? Usually, what I do is, like, for example, hat. So I'm gonna go cat because usually, um, if someone were to be like garlic bread, I would be like buttered bread or something just because you're, you're less likely to be noticed if you kind of copy another person so if someone was to say McFlurry I would be like McBlurry or something I usually find that helps out a lot I also um, this might sound a bit weird but it's it's also very oh retributionist that's a horrible role at least I can talk to you guys but um I also find that if you talk if like you pick like a really like foreign name like a first and last name, then you're also a lot less likely to be noticed. Basically, if, if like even if you just let the timer run out and you get something like James Bailey or uh, James Smith or Cotton Mather, even which, which is the screen reference, then uh, that'll like uh, then people are less likely to get you. For example, Thomas Danforth. That is my prediction is he is going to last over five nights. But um, anyway, actually, no, I don't know because he's number one after all. I've got one resurrection left. Great. So now I sit back and talk to you guys. So, first thing about what is going on in the channel. The first thing that is happening on the channel is I am starting, uh, I guess, a new league in a sense because it's another season. So it's another season of the DHBA, as you guys know. The DHBA, um, it kind of ended on a weird note because it was supposed to be nine weeks, but then it got dropped down to seven weeks. And I never got my week seven battle done, so some people think I went four and three. Other people went I w think think I went three and four. Most most um, commonly the coaches um, in said league, but I personally think that I went three wins, one tie, and uh, three losses. So, Cause like I I was talking to Jake. Okay, he was like, okay, I got to go out for five minutes, get something to eat or something like that, or have a bath or something. Like I got. I can't remember. That boy was away for two hours, uh, so I'm not sure. But I, I'm really looking forward to DGB season five. I've actually gone through all, all, like half, almost half of my draft has already been drafted. Actually, over half of my draft has been drafted. I also have a front office, uh, but I'll be announcing uh, the member of the front office uh, what when, of course, DGB season five the video comes out. So I'm just planning to do a lot of stuff on the channel. Interviews will be the same, and a lot more people want to do uh, uh, want interviews. I know Hughes definitely wants to do an interview. I know Mike wants to do and an interview. I'm pretty sure at least he wants to do an interview, and I think MX3 might want to do an interview. Uh, I'm by the way I'm paying no attention to this game all the townies are dying uh, but I'm, I'm retributionist so like I'm, I'm waiting until a bodyguard a doctor or a jailer dies or a mayor I guess uh, mayor's kind of uh, uh, vigilance also kind of a good rule to revive did you uh, log out yeah he did okay that's good but um so that's an executioner so as I was saying, you know, it's gonna be uh, fun to do the interviews with the same guys and also with new people because um, I've never talked to Hughes over the internet before. I've only typed to him, and uh, same for MX3. Uh, even though I've like known the guys for months, like I've uh, been in so many leagues with them. I've been in the uh, PBA. I've been in the SDL with them. I've been in the DTBA. Uh, I I was in the CBO, which was a league that. Hughes were trying to set up, but it, it kind of died, so we gave up on the idea. Hughes just messaged me one day and he was like, Yo, can you just delete the server? I was like, Okay, I got you. So, uh, oh, 
you poor people falling for an executioner. Uh, anyway, so that uh, was uh, basically the backstory to me, MX3 and Hughes. But of course, there are new people that are joining the league as well. And of course, I'm going to be going a lot more into detail with DBA Season 5 t uh, with the video on my channel. Or I'm going to be doing it on the actual like on this channel or on the DGBA channel because what I'm planning to do is of course interviews I might be doing power rankings I'm going to be doing like a quick introduction which I'm planning to do with Hal's permission um, which I'm planning to do uh, hopefully today when I'm recording it because I'm off on Friday uh, which is today which I'll get into in a second but uh, I'll be going over the new people that have joined, but there's there's some apparent like there's, apparently there's like some people that are really well known, and I'm like I don't know these people, so <laughs> I feel really bad, but uh, I I'm sure they're cool guys anyway. I'm not really talking too much, but you know me, I usually spam people um, about different uh, picks and stuff. I mean what I should pick and what my like uh, what teams I should bring against other people. Or ideas for anything I can improve as I send them like a as I send them what was I gonna say as I send them like a message with all my teams um copy them paste I'll be like yo is there anything else you can do but now uh, with my front office of course it's gonna be amazing because um I can do like I can do team building and I can also um do mocks as well I do think that uh, me and the guy uh, we're probably going to do the mocks and then team build on what I already planned or else we're going to have to do team building and then we're going to have to do mocks against people that are already in the league like things like people like JP. Also quick side note that JP is actually uh, not participating in DGBA season 5 which I find to be so saddening and MX Dash isn't there and Cav isn't there. Everyone just kept on leaving and, uh, so it, it, was, it was saddening of course but um, you know what are you gonna do? So that was uh, who was that guy that was uh, trying to get this weedy up? Uh, yeah, it was Sumi. So he's not gonna be Jester. It's hard to multitask, of course, because people assume that um, commentating and playing a game is really easy, but then you have to concentrate in the game, you have to commentate in the game, but then you also have to do uh, commentary on your own behalf in case game gets bland you have to have like filler stuff so yeah as I was saying previously I am off today on Friday it's like one of those uh, parent teacher interviews but my uh, mother didn't actually go <laughs> um, but um, yeah it's just been great to have a day off even though I was basically doing French and English for the whole day uh, but I mean I, I, I've, got, I've got time now it's about what is it uh, laptop's fine as fast. It's about 10 to 7 now where I'm recording this, so that's a pretty decent time. Uh, so I'm just here talking to you guys. And I'm gonna try and do a video or two. I'm like in that mood where I want, like I was on Pokemon Showdown and I was scrolling through like tears and I was like, okay, I want to record a video definitely because I'm free. I'm just in that mood where I really enjoy recording a video. But I'm not sure what I want to record or record on or what I want to talk about. But I decided, you know what, let's do a Time Seal video because you guys deserve it. And I will play Time Seal in forever, so uh, I'm afraid I'm going to be getting a little bit rusty if I don't uh, play it again. Which I I went away from Time Seal for a few months, and it's great to know that the only thing that they added was another paid feature. Oh my goodness, why do you reveal as mayor so soon? Uh, Reaper, okay, I guess we're going Reaper then. Uh, some of those blackmailed. But, um, yeah. Uh, good to uh, just play some more time of ceiling and stuff. I'm, I'm really not sure about the coven update They have to pay for it again because I, I'm pretty sure they already put out another Kickstarter for something or another like um, Thing to get paid for and I mean they've got advertisements up. You've got um, Like every time you open up the game you're like oh here's 25% of getting a new character or whatever which costs you IRL money then you also have now uh, you can buy it on Steam to make the game faster and just get another Steam bot character. Which I mean, it, it's sad to see the producers of this game 
a full for the money it really is because like they're getting advertisements they're getting money from people for IRL trying to buy things and then they also have other stuff like they got the Kickstarter they um, were doing a trading card game as well and I bet they got a lot of money and now they're trying to they also did the Steam thing as I said previously and now they're trying to do another Coven update which just makes the game ridiculous I was watching some of it and it, it, it just doesn't even make sense anymore like um this with like mafia and like serial killers and all like the serial killer stuff like being added into the game of mafia uh, was quite insane because well, I can revive uh, Weedy actually I want to do that but um you know adding in serial killer and werewolves into the regular uh, game was far from the regular mafia game and now having stuff like I don't even know what's in the game now it's like uh, voodoo people or whatever uh, that, that's just taking it to another level you know uh, that, that's that's crazy uh, maybe I shouldn't revive weedy but I feel like bodyguard's gonna be very useful uh, especially because I was just literally attacked by a serial killer right now so being able to revive the bodyguard was great because now the town is gonna have a chance but of course I'm not gonna stay in this I'm gonna go all eve for another game it's only 11 minutes I can do another game even though I died that one. Uh, that play bear outfit was really weird. That's also something that else that they've added that I really don't like. If you win a game you get silver coins which are absolutely useless but in the in the old update I mean in the old game you used to have gold coins which is why I have customizable characters because I got in-game currency which then I spent on my characters and scrolls and stuff because I was an idiot. Um, scrolls by the way they're absolutely... <laughs> I don't see why people spend money on, on scrolls like you spend like 200 gold and even if you win with that character for the first time you get like maybe like 58 for the most uh let me see uh, miss, uh we have debbie we're gonna do uh Deppy. <laughs> screw it so um uh, like this the, it's weird why they're that like silver coins i'm not even sure what they call them i think it's like achievement coins Basically, it's useless currency, and now if you want to buy any characters, you have to spend money on gold coins. I'm pretty sure there's not any way in game where you can actually get gold coins anymore. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. We are a forger, a crypt lawyer that replaces documents. That means that we can basically take uh, people's wills and do what we want with them. Uh, the the rule of forger was also was always something weird to me. I never really liked the rule. I still don't really like the rule. I'm glad they updated disguiser though because disguiser was a weird rule. Like I remember um, a few months ago as disguiser, um, like you you did nothing for the mafia. You just there sat and chat and you're like, yo, well, I'm never doing anything because people's rules would activate and then it'd be like, okay, well this person's the disguiser, but they had this role, uh, they said that they were this role, and we knew they were this role, so we're gonna go get the person that is being disguised right now, so that basically ruined the disguisers, uh, uh, foiled the disguiser, and um, there's, I mean, I like the blackmailer, the, I mean, that was a few updates ago where I got the ability to spy, we both got a janitor, so I, I'm going to stand up back a bit. Janitor's role is basically just to clean a few rules off the board early game before he dies. I'm probably going to be preserving myself for the game so I can forge a few uh, scrolls just because Janitor's so nice because he can be like, yo, this person was an investigator so he can clean TIs and stuff because Janitor's a nice role um, because you, you see the role cleaned and you just don't know what... Um, oh, goodness, I'm doing Fasio is dying. Why did that happen? But anyway, uh, janitor is cool. I just think we're winning this game anyway because we lost our uh, mafia friend. I think it was like game throwing, honestly, but I I, I really couldn't tell. <laughs> Fred the sheriff, night one. Uh, Daffy the mafia. You guys gonna call me ex-religion? Yeah, those are mafia. <laughs> Biggest ex ever. Was. He's right, guys. <laughs> He's Mafia. 
<laughs> okay, I, I don't know what's happening. But um, if I go out here, I, get, I mean, I, I, I just basically vlog on this game. Um, next step, I don't know. <laughs> I make a vlog of this game. Oh my goodness, Logan Paul, why? Uh, the Logan Paul drama has been interesting. and dang it. <laughs> Sorry, I went all quiet there. I was like, okay, I gotta gotta try and fight for my survival. Lol X, your concert most likely. Oh I just got it. Let's go hang you people. And you're Logan Paul, seriously? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's probably going to be the end of this video because I'm going to get hung here. <laughs> it's so weird to say. But yeah, uh, I just feel, felt like doing um, Town of Sion because it'd be slightly different even though it is in like a 16 minute video. I didn't want this video to last too long. I just wanted it to be like an update video, talking about a few things and just basically a DTBA and getting out of there. It's really weird that I didn't do a Pokemon video on this. I like, got uh, doing it on Pokemon Showdown and stuff. But um... Uh, but you know, uh, I just felt like recording some time of scene because it's a cool game that I haven't done in a while. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and leave a comment down below if you want to see more time of scene. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell on. It is free and free things are good. And thanks guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.